we are back with another BS episode. You know, every time I hit that intro, it starts kind of fast. It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then it slowly slows down. Um, huh? no, I'm good. Um, dude, so our AC broke yesterday. It was freaking hot as hell. <laughs> Bro, it broke. So, oh, if you guys don't know, um, the Golden State Warriors, my team, won the NBA Finals. Dude, what a game, man. I kept saying, if the refs just let them play, like, it's the NBA Finals. It's going to be extra physical. It's going to be extra aggressive. It's going to be extra everything. Get her done. Just let them, let them, you know? And they were like calling some stupid stuff and i mean some dumb stuff i'm just like dude this is dumb like like why are they calling all this stuff and they kind of like like some of the plays i'm like yep you should definitely should have called that and some of the plays is just like what <laughs> like okay you guys got to be even um but apparently there's this big old thing how the nba likes to rig games they really don't want the warriors to win because they're changing the the game big time um I'm not going to get into conspiracy theories. I'm just happy that the Warriors won. <laughs> While we were watching it, I was jumping up and down like, hell yeah, we won, we won, we won. Guaranteed. I was like, why do I feel like I'm sweating? I'm like, I feel like I'm a little hot. I'm like, I know I'm excited and stuff. And then, yeah, went to bed. AC not working. Oh, no. I'm just like, what? Hell is going on here so yeah right now it's like we gotta turn this fan we should turn that fan we gotta turn all the fans on but it should be okay um and then i'm drinking coffee now i gotta wake up <laughs> um how are you doing by the way how are you doing how hot. are you doing hot and sweaty <laughs> hot and sweaty right in between the bows <laughs> you ever seen heat lightning before heat lightning is that anything like black lightning I don't know what black lightning is. I, this wasn't this wasn't a race thing. It wasn't trying to make it an American conversation. It's a, it's a TV show. Oh, you mean the 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 the, the superhero? Yeah. <laughs> you just you people just turned it into a racial thing. <laughs> yeah. So we've what been getting about it. Go ahead. We've been getting a lot of um, heat lightning, and if you've never seen it before, it looks like a UFO. Because it it's has a video, it has no it. thunder. It's strange, but yeah, we've been getting a lot of that. The sky's been very angry because it's been so hot. The sky is angry, dude. Oh, you know, it's funny you say that. Um, because it's been so hot in the Midwest, there's been some random like thunderstorms. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and it, it's just weird. Everyone's like freaking out about it. Like I saw some videos, and I'm just like. I want to go over there and, yeah. and take pictures. <laughs> and then randomly we'll get hail. Yeah. That is so confusing. You're like, it's so hot. Where is hail coming from? Weird. I, dude, I've seriously been debating that because we're going through a weird phenomenon thing right now in like the Midwest. But what's scaring me, though, is is how unpredictable that weather is. And then if you go to the Midwest, bro. Freaking talking about like like hurricanes and tornadoes and ATM and the Wizard of Oz and I'm just like nah I think I'm cool <laughs> I think I'm cool I don't need to see a freaking tornado touch down and take me away to the great land of Narnia or something so <laughs> but anyway today's episode before we get into the topics um next level is always don't know the 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 title of the show so I like to always surprise them. It doesn't uh, have a title. Oh, it has a title. It's not titled right now. It, it's titled right now <laughs> in my folder. <laughs> it's just not titled in the show, so you can't see it. <laughs> um, make sure you guys get yourself a VPN. No. And we've been hearing some people having issues with certain VPNs. Um, we have one in the description that works really, really good. If you're having an issue with the VPN that you're using... Try the one 
in the description below. It does have a, I believe it has a 30 day guarantee. Guaranteed. Um, it has a 30 day money back. So check it out. It, you know, what do you have to lose? Try it out. Check it out. See if it works. Everybody that I've, I've gotten to, to switch over from the old one that I was promoting to this new one. Everybody's like, dude, this thing is great. So yeah, check it out. It's there. You got nothing to lose. 30 day money back. Energy. All right. What do you got? Buzz TV, Buzz TV, global.com. <laughs> they love that I say Buzz TV. I actually did a live stream last night, uh, almost two hours on my uh, on my next level tech channel. You're and back? I was just, huh? I thought they you were on timeout. No, I can I can do videos again. I missed it. Damn it. And well, it was pretty late. It was like I streamed from like 1030 until almost midnight my time. Oh, I was watching the basketball. Yeah, stuff. it was the same time as the basketball game. I don't watch sports, so I didn't give a shit. But I was actually going <laughs> over uh, Buzz TV's website, right? Because if somebody doesn't know anything about their devices and you go to buzztvglobal.com, it's a little confusing to navigate because there's mm. so many devices on there and they have a lot of their old stock, which is actually more expensive than some of their newer, better devices. Hmm. Yeah, so if you look at like the HD5, it's going for 120, but it's got some of the previous gen devices which have similar specs, but the old remotes as well as obviously the last gen CPUs for like 130, 140. And it's like, I wouldn't like nothing against those devices, but the HD5 is a better bang for your buck than the last gen models that they had. I wonder then, why they haven't lowered the prices. We should let Nick know. Like, dude, do, do, do you know? <laughs> do you know? Yeah. Maybe somebody forgot. And you know what? That's happened before where somebody over there forgets to do something. Yeah. Last year, we promoted this. Um, we, what did we promote last year? Last year? We promoted like some. Oh, they had the, 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 the 4900 with the free. Um, One terabyte. Yeah. And it, it was supposed to be like. Like you got the one terabyte if you bought the other thing, and then you got like some other free device or something. But there was like like they they added like a discount, and you couldn't use like an additional discount. But somebody in their office forgot to turn that off, so people were getting like double the discount plus some free stuff. <laughs> yeah, now uh, maybe somebody forgot again to update it. <laughs> well, it could be because the HD five is kind of like a dongle, and the other devices are. A box mm. but still i think it's a better value i, I don't know whatever yeah. whatever check it out bus tv global.com yeah it, it, so yeah 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 it's great devices good stuff there's there's definitely good stuff on there and there are some uh devices that are on sale obviously like i said there's probably going to be some more devices that are going on sale because they still have some of the last gen devices that they are going to be getting rid of as more stock comes in of the new devices yeah so some sad news. Sad news in the LBC. <laughs> sad news about E3. It's not happening. It's no longer going to happen. Not. They're calling it not E3. <laughs> um, it's been canceled three years in a row now. They canceled it. The first year we know because of the pandemic. The second year we know because of the pandemic. The third year, I think it's because of the pandemic. I don't know. It's it's we're still in this pandemic. It's not like it's gone away yet. Um, you know, we keep hearing like, oh, cases are going up, but no one's getting sick. It's like, wait, where are these cases then? <laughs> you know, it's 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 just weird. There, there, there's like, there, you know, they're, they're still trying to control the narrative, but then, you know. The, the the garden back in Boston, Boston Celtics garden. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't watch basketball. Um, you know, sold out. People are shoulder to shoulder. It's just like, well, we're going to go see uh, an outbreak happen. And so far, nothing. Um, these basketball players have been physical. And have they been kicking butt? They've been traveling back and forth and everything. No outbreaks throughout the entire playoffs. Um, it's just interesting. Like, it's not like it doesn't exist. It still does. I just recently got it. Um, but E3 is canceled. It is canceled. Um, does that surprise you? 
they cancel it one more time, I'm going to forget they ever existed. Well, as you guys know already, Sony don't need no E3. Sony does not. They don't participate. They they haven't participated in like five years, I think, or six years. You know, they stopped going to it like pre-pandemic. And it's, and it's interesting because E3 is a place where everybody goes that is any that has anything to do with gaming and flexes. And Sony decided to say, like, we don't need to flex against anybody because we're just that good. Let's just do our own thing. Let's not do it. And everybody else continues to go. I'm 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 kind of disappointed with it. I get it. They're probably saving a grip ton of money not doing it. But at the same time, it's like. Just go, you know what I mean? The people want to see you more. You should feed the people with your info and, you know, interact with the people. Don't okay. segregate yourself. Yeah. I had um, one of my friends that I've known for a long time. Um, she was a. How do I word this? She OK, so like, I guess let me just. I don't know what her what her her whole the whole thing was, but so she was a model or she got into modeling and she was going to E3 for years and she was a model for Nintendo. Um and every time she would go, I would always ask her, like, hey, can you get me a bag full of stuff? Just walk around and get stuff. I'm sure you're gonna be all dressed up and everything, but and she'd be like, oh, yeah, for sure. Like, and she would always get it, you know. Um, I remember the last year she did it, like PlayStation was still going. Sony was still going. Um, she came and told me, like, hey, there's a rumor that Sony might not be coming back anymore. And I'm just like, really? Like, dude, that's crazy. Um, I would have never thought that E3 would be canceling this many times but i do have some good news though i do have some good news if some of you guys missed it i'm gonna give you guys some dates that just passed and i'm gonna give you guys some future dates that is gonna happen so this is a schedule of stuff that's coming during the summer. Um, Sony State of Play was June 2nd. If anybody missed it. Um, June 9th, which just passed also. There is a thing called Summer Game Fest. And another one called Devolver direct june 10th netflix geeked week netflix did their own thing epic games showcase did their own thing and try tribeca game spotlight this and all these dates are are like if e3 were to happen that's why they're all pretty close together um June 11th, Guerrilla Collective, Wholesome Direct, Future Game Show. And then June 12th, there was Xbox and Bethesda. Not Bethesda, or however you said it last time. <laughs> uh, PC Gaming Show. And then this one I'm super bummed about. This happened just recently. Capcom Showcase. I always like when they do like Marvel versus Capcom, like those type of games. And then June 14th, there was another Xbox and Bethesda again. Those were some of the big dates. Some of the, well, th those were all the dates that were going to be around the same time of um, E3. Now, the thing that's interesting here is. 
I didn't mention anything about Nintendo. Nintendo Direct live stream, it is still unconfirmed. So they're saying it's going to happen this summer sometime. How come Capcom's never done a movie? I think they have. Have they? Yeah, I think they have. I'm pretty sure there has been movies. Okay, well, why not a Marvel versus Capcom movie? Too soon. It's been like 30 years. Probably way too soon. Yeah, Mar yeah Capcom's done several movies. The Resident Evil, The Street Fighter, Fighter Biohazard. Yeah, they've done several movies. Okay, well, well I want a Marvel versus Capcom movie. For that to happen, I think what they need to do is Capcom needs to. They need to establish some characters, I guess. You know what I mean? Okay. Like. Like okay, we we you know like we we've seen Resident Evil. We've seen um, a Street Fighter movie. We need to see like Mega Man. Mega Man. Just like dude. Me Mega like Man. a live action Mega Man? Yeah, like Iron Man, just Mega Man. And they then and, and, and then and how dude, imagine imagine a Mega Man, a short little guy, short short kid or something. Um or I guess it wouldn't be a kid, but like a young adult and Daniel it's like Radcliffe. Iron Man. Like he's got like a like a shiny helmet and then and and his arm is chopped off or something. Like he's got some issue with his arm, but he's got like a, a synthetic thing like Cyborg and then it turns into a freaking cannon. They can do it. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Dude, uh, wh wh who's that chick? Death Souls. I don't know. Uh, Morgan. She Only looks like a bat. She's got a bat. She's like a bat outfit. Only Morgan I know is Freeman. No oh, shit. <laughs> they have. They have. They have some really good characters that they could definitely do. But I think they need to do like individual characters, like. Just do a Mega Man character. We already had a Street Fighter movie, so I don't think we... It would be nice to have a reboot because I know they rebooted Mortal Kombat. Um, it, like, I think it would just be cool just to see some of those characters have their individual movies before they do them versus us type of thing. Fine. You know? So, here's something else that's going to be interesting. Um, EA... EA Sports has no they actually cancel their stuff. They had they they can't so okay, so everything that I'm gonna mention now is canceled live streams. So EA Play 2022, they actually confirmed that it isn't coming through with a big showcase this summer. Ubisoft, people that do Far Cry. Assassin's Creed, Rainbow Six. The Ubisoft reps have indicated that they won't be getting any showcase this season. But they did say it's a possibility sometime later this year. But that doesn't sound good. I'm a little bummed. Now, um, there is a couple other things here. Actually, Square, Square Enix just happened, like if, like yesterday. The Final Fantasy VII 25th anniversary. And I think... I think that's it. I think... As, as far as like some of the conventions go, uh, there is rumors that Sony's going to have another state of play showcase this summer. And late summer, it looks like they're going to have two. So I don't know. I'm, I'm. I have a feeling if these showcase, these individual showcases are successful, I think E3 is in trouble. What do you think? 
I think that there's a lot of companies and people that make a living off of these kind of events. And there's obviously, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Repercussions for not having an event. Uh, Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. I, I, I do think that. Um, so there's a couple games coming out. I'm going to go through some of these ones. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through what's coming out in June. I know this video is not coming out to the very, very end of June. So just in case you missed it, um, this is what's coming out that is supposed to be pretty big. So on Stadia, let me see, Stadia. A lake is coming out or came out already. That's supposed to be a pretty big one. Diablo. They made a Diablo Immortal for iOS and Android. That's interesting. Um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 on the Switch. You know, a lot of people actually, for some reason, like, you know how they like, uh, like racing games and golf games and everything? Dude. I don't I don't know about like I know me, I don't know about you, but me, I wouldn't buy this game, but for some reason it's trending big time. Tour de France. Am I on a bicycle? The bicycle, yeah. I is this like Paperboy? No. <laughs> it's not like Paperboy. It's it's you're racing on a bike. I don't know how that works. Like if you're like like left pedal, right pedal, left pedal, right pedal. <laughs> A B A B A B A B A B A B. Lean to the left. A B A B A B. <laughs> Interesting. R one pu- punch the guy to the right. L one punch the guy to the left. L three duck. <laughs> it's like Road Rash. If you ever played that game back in the day. <laughs> yeah. And that's coming out on all consoles, all major consoles: PlayStation, Xbox, PC, everything. Um, Mario Strikers Battle League on the Switch. I can't wait for them to come out with a new console, man. Maybe that's why they're not doing anything or not focused on anything. Um, this one, I'm actually very... I, I need to look it up and see if they have a PlayStation 5 version of this. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Re- uh, Shredder's Revenge. In PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. No PS5? Or in, in no Xbox. Oh, no, it is on. No. Xbox One is a new one, right? I don't know, man. I think what's so. The name, what's the name of Xbox? No, Xbox One is not the new one. That's the old one. It's S and X. That's all I know. There you go. Xbox Series X. Yeah. Xbox X or Xbox S. <laughs> no, it's not going to be on the new gen consoles. Why? Good question. I have no idea. Um, Sonic Origins, that's coming out on all consoles, PS5, uh, Xbox X, S, everything, all the uh, PS4, Xbox One, Switch. Yeah, I'm trying to th- see, uh, I'm trying to see, th- I give myself a list. I don't see anything else. Formula One, 22, all major consoles. Capcom Fighting Collection, but those are on the last gen consoles. Escape Academy. Yeah. So that's everything for that's everything for June. For July. Okay, so this is this is coming. Um and I'm just gonna like if I if I missed anything for June, that's a new game. Leave us a comment, leave us a review, let us know what we miss. Okay, for July. This this is again, if I miss something, leave us a comment. Um and I'm only gonna be announcing like the major ones. So if I miss something, sorry. Um Lost Epic, that's a PS5 exclusive. Arc Ar- 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 what the I can't even say this one. Arc Arca Arca Degadon. Arca Arcadegadon. Arca Degadon. Dude, I don't know. Uh there's a tennis match coming up. Dusk Falls. Dusk Falls is a Xbox exclusive. And 
it looks like that's pretty much it. Nothing, nothing big from what I see. Um, August looks like a big month, though. So Xbox exclusive Turbo Golf Racing. Um, a Switch exclusive Lost in Play. PC exclusive Marvel's Spider Man. This one's coming in on all major consoles. Cult of the Lamb. Um, all major consoles again. Madden NFL 23, which I am getting. Um, all major consoles again. Saints Row. All major consoles again. Uh, Formula One Manager 2022. Another one, all consoles. Soul Hacker 2. And then another one for all major consoles, Destroy All Humans 2. That sounds like fun. Yeah. A lot of good games. The only ones I haven't... Dude, I haven't seen the, the Harry Potter one. I thought it was coming out this summer. So September looks like another big month. All major consoles, The Lord of the Rings, Gollum. Have you seen the state of play on that one? No. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Why have they not made a movie about this guy? Like, like he was supposed to be like, like one of those little midget elf things or whatever it is, the Shire, you know, the ones with the big feet where Elijah Wood was, you know, one of those dudes. Yeah. And then he went over and got the ring and then he became all like, like ugly looking. They need to do a series on this guy. That movie that the, oh, I, I call it a movie, but the gameplay on this thing looked like a freaking movie and it looked amazing um that's going to be on all major consoles um the last of us i don't know if you remember that game this is the last of us part one i think this is like the last <laughs> um that is a ps5 exclusive um splatoon 3 that's a switch exclusive warhammer 40,000 xbox exclusive Metal, Hellsinger, all major consoles, uh, Serial Cleaners. What the heck is that? <laughs> That's on all consoles. Um, Deliver Us from Mars, all, all, all of them. And that's in Tunic. Tunic is just PlayStation exclusive. All right. So, so far, what do you think? there's some pretty big titles in there august does seem like the biggest month yeah. i'm a little bit surprised they are coming out with uh what did you say madden because ea said that they're not really releasing too much stuff yeah so there still is a madden coming out that's gonna be a big game they they've been talking about madden and i've seen several commercials about madden now for a couple weeks um it started in june on the hype on it and I kind of ignored it, and I had my brother-in-law say, like, dude, have you seen the new Madden? And I was like, no, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to get it, dude. It's like, play one Madden, you play them all. And he's just like, yeah, but you haven't had it. You haven't had the new one in a couple years. And he's like, you need to check it out. So I watched it, and I'm like, holy crap. I'm like, this actually looks really good. So I actually have, like, my brother-in-law. I got my, my best friend in the East Coast. Um, I got another really good friend of mine that lives out here in Hollywood. Um, all of us are all talking about getting this game so that we could all play against each other and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, I was telling him, I was like, dude, there's four of us. We could Fortnite it up. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So they've been talking about, like, getting a baseball game for all of us to play. And, like, they, they just keep talking about, like, getting some stuff so we could all play together. Um, okay. October. I'm about to blow your socks off on this. Overwatch 2. That's a big game. All major consoles. Overwatch 2 is a huge game. Here's another one on all major consoles. And this one, a lot of people are talking about it. Marvel's Midnight Suns. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. So wait till you look that one up. 
Uh, PlayStation exclusive, Forsaken, or F Forspoken, sorry. <laughs> um, all major consoles, Persona 5 Royale, or Royal. Xbox exclusive, Scorn. Ooh, ready for this one? This is only going to the new consoles. PS5 and Xbox uh, X and S. Gotham Knights. That's it. No colon something else. Just Gotham Knights. I'm surprised there's no Morbius uh, video game. And probably because the movie wasn't that good. <laughs> this Shots fired. I haven't watched it, but I've heard a lot of people talk shit about it, so... I you know watched it say, it's Marvel, but the guy who played Morbius, what Leto or whatever the hell his name is, mm -hmm. he's a method actor. So he, there's parts that he was walking around with crutches, and when he had to go to the washroom, he would take his crutches with him. And they they said that there were complaints that he would take way too long going to the washroom because he was pretending that he actually had to use these stupid ass crutches, and he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, what game is it that you play every night that you start cussing at everybody and then you get all pissed off? I don't rage quit, but I play Call of Duty. Okay. October 28th. Write this down on your calendar. There's a new map coming. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Two. Yes. On all consoles. It should be cross play and everything. So if all you guys get the game, I'll probably get it so I can play with you guys. We just get the free version. We don't actually <laughs> buy the game. We just get the free version and play Warzone. That's all we do. I'm pretty. Yeah, maybe I'll jump in and see what you guys are doing. I got to hear. I got to hear. I got to see what digital slang's talking about with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice okay. guy. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> um. <laughs> And then to wrap up October, Resident Evil Village Winter's Expansion. That's on all major consoles. Um, November looks kind of sad. <laughs> Literally, I'm going to announce everything for November. You ready for this? Okay. On all major consoles. Actually, no, I lie. On all PlayStation and Xbox consoles. That's it. Humankind. Which looks pretty good. Switch exclusive Pokemon Scarlet. And another Switch exclusive Pokemon Violet. That's Woo! it. <laughs> That's it, dude. Three games <laughs> that they've announced so far. Whoa, that's it. Um, there is some other games to be announced, and this game is freaking huge. This list is huge. I'm not gonna name all of them, but I'm gonna name some of them that I might be interested in. Um, I'm not gonna name the consoles and everything, or then we'll just be here forever on this one. But these are the games that are yet to be announced. They don't know if it's coming this year or next year, but it's coming. Um, <clears throat> so here we go: A Quiet Place, like the movie. Uh, Aftermath, Ark Raiders, Avatar. Oh, I'm so excited about the movie. Um, Bayonet three, Blood Bowl three, Bomb. Rush Cyberfunk, uh, Circuit Superstars, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, uh, Cyber Knights Flashpoint, Destiny 2 Lightfall, Diablo Immortal, uh, Disney Speedstorm, Dragon Ball The Breaker, Ooh. Dune. Spice Wars. What are you going to say? Ooh. You. Ooh. Um, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. God of War Ragnarok. Ooh. So excited about that game. 
I'm going to announce this one, even though it's going to piss some people off. Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy. <laughs> Another remake. <laughs> whoop de doo Grounded. Gunman Evolution. Uh, Home World 3. Oh, here it is. Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> Oh, I, I I need a date. I want that. I want that game. Um, Laura Croft, the Guardian of Light, League of Legends, Wild Rift, um, Mario, Rabbit, Sparks of Hope, huh? Oh, Marvel's Spider Man, Miles Morales. Multiverses it literally says multiverses. I don't know what that is, but I'm I'm interested. Uh open roads, park beyond, phantom abyss. Mm, raw men, resident evil seven, biohazard. River City Girls 2. I think that's a fighting game. Rumbleverse. Skull and Bones. Sonic Frontiers. Spider-Saurus. <laughs> Star Trek. Star Wars Hunters. Oh, man. I'm stoked about this one. This one's coming to all the new consoles. Or all consoles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection. I think they're going to include all the old stuff and anything new. Um, the Outlast Trials. So they had the Outlast. Uh, Outlast. Outlast. <laughs> Outlast Trials. Um, there is a thing here for Lord of the Rings Golem for Switch. Ultimate Fishing... Um, Valkyrie Elysium, Warcraft, I'm almost done here, Where the Hearts Lead, Wizard of a Gun, and then the last one, Wrestle Quest. Anything on that list that makes you excited? No. I'm no, not, again, not, even, not even the freaking harry pothead no i'm not a gamer i just like to yell at people while playing the other game yeah but uh, that game could never change and i would be perfectly fine because it's just about cussing your teammates it's, it's <laughs> what would you say about the pendejo this camaraderie of it the camaraderie and you're calling people pendejos <laughs> pendejos <laughs> watch your fire in pendejo yeah <laughs> <laughs> when you say pen when you say pendejo you sound like like you have like like you're holding your nose yeah like you're stuffing and you're saying pendejo <laughs> it's pendejo but yeah i get it no no <laughs> you know what you're saying right <laughs> no idea but it sounds great it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh man for my spanish peakers you guys are probably cracking up right now pretty hard <laughs> that's what it says in the game when you shoot a friendly fire it tells you to watch your fire pendejo <laughs> that's what it says <laughs> oh man you know what do you okay since you don't know what it means i'm gonna give you the actual google actual google meaning of what it means um it's one of the used one of the most used slang words in mexico and one of the easy one of the nicest ways of saying it is stupid so yeah watch your fire stupid But the way you say it, it's 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 <laughs> it's more than just you're stupid. So when somebody messes up or they do something dumb, you know, there's like a probably a whole bunch of words that you can call them, <laughs> dumbass, asshole, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
It encompasses yeah. all of that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so um, some of you, some of you people are having issues still trying to get the PlayStation, the new PS5. Um, Xbox is still with an abundance, so you anybody can get an Xbox at any given time. <laughs> Um, nobody wants to buy that shit. But so if you guys want to get that Sony PlayStation 5, um, they are dropping them. It's still not as easy as people would hope for, but it is what it is. Sony is actually has reported that they're getting to announce um, that they're ready to announce several new hardware products, including a possible PS Slim, PS5 Slim. And something huge. Remember how excited I was about the PS5 controller? Yeah. I was telling you that I could grab the remote and I could actually feel like like it feels like a trigger. Like 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 my, my fingers were sore just like because it felt like an actual trigger. Um that remote was just insane. Well, that's their base remote. They're getting ready to announce a PS5 Pro controller. And this, the way they're describing it, it's a genuine professional controller. It's reportedly pad. The new pad will feature, will reportedly feature removable analog sticks, grips, trigger stops, and back paddles. They're they're looking into upgrading a couple things. Um, buttons under the analog set sticks are said to allow users to remove the analog unit completely, presumably enable them to replace it with a new one rather than having to buy another controller if there's a sticking issue or a drift issue. They're gonna be able. You're gonna be able to take this thing apart easily and and replace parts easily. And and there's, I remember um, on the PS4 days when it came out. And I was working at the hospital. My coworker was saying like, dude, you could put these little clips on top of the controller and you can make it like where you barely tap it and the thing moves a lot faster. And I'm just like, why don't I just put my thing on the analog stick and do it? He's like, look, I'll buy it for you so you could try it. And I'm just like, yeah, this is a gimmick, you know. It freaking works. I'm like, what the f like, dude, it just, it just, it, it, it's kind of like, like, you know, when you're, I, I don't know how much of a, a mechanic you've, you've done in cars, but you know, when you put a wrench or a ratchet on something on a socket and the stick is this big and you move it, sometimes it's really, really hard. But if you put an expansion stick and it's now this longer, it's easier to move. That's exactly yeah, more leverage. What yeah, more leverage. Dude, that's exactly what this thing does. And I thought this it was like a hoax. Dude, I'm like, what the hell? But it looks like you're going to be able to replace the whole thing to put some longer ones, some bigger ones, however you want it. Um, there's some images that's provided, but I can't see them. I have to subscribe to their whatever to get these images to be able to see it. Um, but this guy said... Uh, he was provided with images of an alleged prototype of the PS5 Pro controller, which claims will have significant software updates. And um, it was recently confirmed, claimed that Sony will confirm the release date of Roar uh, of, of God of War Ragnarok later this month, also, um, and which we already saw the date on it for November. Um, so yeah, I'm I don't know, I'm I'm kind of interested. What do you think? Do you know that Thor What's his worth? His name? Chris 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 Helms. Chris Hemsworth? Yeah, he auditioned for Thor and didn't get the part at his first edition. <laughs> he was really? actually he was actually cut. And then his younger brother auditioned for the role. And he made top five, right? But they said, literally, you're good, but you're too young. And then he's like, well, I have an older brother. So they brought him back to audition for the role. <laughs> and he got it. <laughs> uh, 
And you know, when when he auditioned for it the first time, he didn't know if he wanted it because he had to sign a 10 year deal for six movies. And he's like, I don't know if I want to play the same character for six movies for 10 years. He's like, that kind of limits me as an as an actor. And then, you know, you're kind of stupid if you don't take a Marvel deal. Let's be realistic. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> well, let's let's be real on that too, though. Back then, when they were st- there was when, no when were starting it, yeah, there was no That's nothing. True. So it was kind of like a shot in the dark to see what happened, and it paid off for him big time. But it's kind of funny to think in an alternate reality, Thor is played by Hemsworth's younger brother <laughs> in the multiverse. <laughs> in the multiverse of madness, dude. <laughs> They should totally bring him in in they the should multiverse. Put both of them in 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 the same movie, both Dude. playing Thor. That would be, gr- or bring him in as like Beta Ray Bill or something. I don't know. Dude, that would be freaking awesome if they. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. I'm all giddy now about it. That's funny. That's cool. Because you know, you ever see those Wired videos where they they hold up the sign and they're like. Uh, Chris Hemsworth is, and then they peel it off and they read like the most Googled terms about them. Yeah. I was watching that. It came out recently. So he was talking about his past experiences of being Thor. And that's how I knew that fun fact. That's funny. That's awesome. All right. So what do you got? I know you got a couple, you got an article or two. So, you know, um, if you are a gamer and you're looking to get into upgrading your hardware, uh, the time might be right soon because with crypto crashing, uh, prices <laughs> of gra- graphics cards have come down significantly. And it's at the point now, for me at least, my local buy and sells has graphics cards cheaper than what the stores are selling them. So you could pick up, sometimes they're brand new in box, sometimes they might be used, but you can actually get them cheaper than what they're going for in the stores which is very, very rare, very, very rare. So like I have an article here. I'll share my screen real quick. Oh, wrong button. Oh, (laughs) share screen. Get your movie tickets for the new Thor movie before I forget. Or Lightyear came out today. Is that today? Oh, yeah. Damn it. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I'm going to wait till like, oh, I want to see that movie. So, dude, speaking of Chris, uh, well, not Chris Hemsworth. Chris Evans is in that movie. In oh, year. yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't um, Tim Allen in it, too? I don't know. I thought I thought he was. Let me look up the cast while you're looking up this thing. OK, so it says new and used GPU prices continue to fall as crypto collapses. Uh, it says bad news for crypto miners is good news for gamers. While GPU prices have steadily fallen over the past few months, the ongoing cryptocurrency crash appears to be expediting the return to MSRP. GPU prices decreased by around 15% in May, following drops of 10% to 15% in the months prior. In some cases, prices are dropping below recommended prices. Uh, For now, the used market on eBay is dropping at a faster rate Though prices for new GPUs are also steadily declining, retail pricing fell by 2% in the last two weeks. Uh, That may not sound like much, but a decline was offset by a 9% increase in the price of the 30, 80, 12 gigabyte cards. Uh, So those are some pretty good cards there. Uh, It says that the two graphics cards from NVIDIA and AMD in top graphics cards from uh, AMD and NVIDIA enjoyed significant price shops with the RTX 3070 and the RTX 3070 Ti falling falling by 7% and the RTX 3050 now 6% more affordable than before. Um, You know, realistically, the sweet spot for graphics cards, if you were to ask me, is the 3070. Great graphics card for the price, great performance for the value. It will play all your top and uh you know games and it doesn't break the bank i know up here you can you if you're lucky you can get a 3070 for around 750 canadian which is probably around 500 us um hmm. it's not a bad price the other thing that we're probably going to start seeing sometime soon is the intel graphics cards 
those should be released sometime really soon. And once they're released, there's going to be more graphics cards in the market, um, causing the prices <laughs> to also come down even more. Yeah, crazy. That's exciting for any anybody that wants to build a computer. Now is the time, <laughs> big time. Actually, I'll even say this. Um, Amazon Prime Day is going to be around the corner, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some sales. If all these prices are coming down, there's going to be sales on computer parts big time for Prime Day. And I think it's I think we're going to see some really good sales. So, <clears throat> OK, um, I have the cast here. Chris Evans is playing Buzz Lightyear. They don't even have Tim Allen in here at all. Hmm. At all. Uh, Kiki Palmer, no idea who this girl is. I'm pretty sure she's done a couple things. She is Izzy Hawthorne, whoever that is. Um, Peter's son is playing Sox, no idea who that is. Um, the person playing Mo Morrison is Taika Waititi. I like this guy. This guy is awesome. He played, he was in the Thor movies. He was the, the rock guy. Hmm. Or if you want a face, if people are like, who the hell is this guy? I need a face. If you watch the movie Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds, he was, he's the, the owner of that tsunami thing. The, 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 the dark skin guy. He, he was the, the, you know, the, the villain in the movie. Um, there's some other characters here that I'm not sure who it is, but when I scroll down, I saw Efren Ramirez. He's supposed to be the airman. Um, good actor. And then Bill Hader is also in this as one of the other characters. So big Bill Hader is another comedian. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked that this movie's out. So it's funny how they made Buzz Lightyear kind of look like a chubby Chris Evans. Like, you know, because the, the chin looks all big and stuff. But, yeah, kind of cool. So, well, yeah, we, was that the last article you had? Yeah, that's really it. Um, you know, a lot of, how do I say this? A lot of people are going to say, oh, bad news for crypto miners, whatever, whatever. I don't really think it's a bad news for crypto miners if the hardware is going down in price. Like this is a great time to pick up a couple of cards if you are planning on being a crypto miner for the long run, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can get them a lot cheaper. I remember in the peak of this stuff, I would see 3080s selling for 25% more than 3090s. Mm-hmm. At the peak of this stuff, which was crazy to see those kind of prices. And now to see, you know, 3080s below a thousand dollars is just like, wow, how th quickly things have dramatically changed. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Leave us a comment below. Um Leave us a comment below. There is a lot of stuff that's coming, a lot of stuff that's happening, and um, it's exciting to see what is going on with gaming. Even though, you know, we're going we're going through this, you know, we're we're like a like I don't know if we're in the middle of this pandemic at the tail end of the pandemic, or if if we're or if it's about to start. <laughs> like I don't know, if we have yet to see it start. You know, um. It seems like things are getting better, you know, so hopefully, you know, got to stay positive. Hopefully things are getting better, but, um, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode for me. I'm most excited about the Harry Potter game, that golem game. Um, really? yeah, dude, like, like I I've seen the, the, the state of play on that Harry Potter game and it just, it, it looks, it looks like 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 far cry or, or or like fallout but with with the wizardy stuff and the magic stuff so it looks cool and it, it looks like it's gonna be open world and so we'll see um and the gold the golem one too the lord of the rings golem one like haven't really had like a like a good fantasy game you know um 
I'm also super excited about Final Fantasy VII. Speaking about fantasy, um, the, the next the next game in its games that it's coming out with. Um, yeah, there's there's just a couple games, so I'm excited about what's coming out. Um, I'm still working on Far Cry Six or whatever it is. I ended up buying the expansion pack because it was so freaking good so far. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got. I always appreciate you guys coming by and listening to our BS. Uh, make sure you guys do leave us a review on what you guys are excited about. And even if you're not into gaming, um, leave us a review anyway. Let us know what you guys think. Um, yeah, what do you got to say before we get out? Thank you guys for coming out, watching, and listening to another episode of Beyond the Streams. If you are looking to be a part of the conversation, be a part of the community, make sure you come over to the Beyond the Streams YouTube channel every Thursday between 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, sometimes a little earlier, where we have our weekly live show. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you never miss a thing. You never know where the conversation is going to go or who we might have on. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.